This is um, it's a beautiful thing. And if anybody else wants to be baptized right now, uh, you can step forward and we'll be glad to baptize you too. Um, but baptizing doesn't, doesn't save us. Accepting Jesus as your Savior is what saves you. But we can't see your soul or your spirit that's been made new by Jesus' love. We, what we can see is the evidence that you portray to us by the symbol of death to self and alive to Christ. Amen. This is a symbol of what has happened inside Grandma. God. And um, she's, she's saying with all her heart, I have decided to follow Jesus and I am not turning back. And um, I know in her life, she's had some tough experiences, but Jesus has led her all the way and led her to this point. Blessing to um to next room on Sunday morning is here sing. But she she's she sings along with all the songs and sings better than I do, that's for sure. <laughs> Alright. All right. <laughs> Graham. Um Graham. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful lady, isn't it? Yeah. The water's not bad, bad if, so if you want to come you and get baptized, come on. You're in church, Gary. <laughs> Donna McNeil. Graham. Mom. Mom. Child of God. Is your testimony to this church today that you've received Jesus as your Savior from sin? Well, upon your profession of faith in Him, we gladly baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Want to hold your nose? No. <laughs> Lay it back. Now, women can swim. You don't have to worry about that. No, right, right back. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm still not done. Amen. <laughs> oh, you're so good. And we just love you. We just love you with everything inside of us. We love you so much. And we thank you. We thank you for being willing, being willing to stand up here and do this. We thank you. I love you. <laughs> Before I even married Tim, you told them that she's the one. And you've spoken that over our lives, our marriage, since the moment I met you. And without me knowing, told my husband that I love that woman. She's my child. And you've taken me in, and I want you taking every single solitary lost soul you have blessed with your presence. And you've loved us all the same. You've never, ever let us down. You've always overflowed. You, there isn't a person you see that comes to your house that you don't say, where's my kiss first? That's right. <laughs> because it's not about being first. It's about you having a chance to make sure you show them your love. Because you always overflow. Don't change, Graham. Ever. And I am so thankful for you to be my Graham. I want to say something real quick. A lot of people don't know, but four years ago, she wasn't going to make it. She was in real rough condition. And we took her out of Worcester and we brought her to my house. And me and Diane and Candy and my kids have been taking care of her since. And each year she's getting stronger and stronger. Yeah. Instead, of, yeah. instead of going downhill, she's going uphill oh each God. year. Thank you. All I keep hearing is just that his love is new yeah. every morning. Yeah. And so his love for you is just new today. And yes, I see you are stronger. I can Yes, it's a well. You yeah, but look at you. It's a new day. I don't know if you heard it. Um, but when the guys are going to lay back in the water. They said you want to go forward or side. Or just, just, anyway, let's just get it done. Yeah. <laughs> she was ready to do it in the pond. <laughs> Thank you very much. I wanted to do it. Uh, Fourth of July at my house, and PL says no. I want to do it at the church so everybody can see, which is a better idea. Praise God! Hallelujah! Amen. 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 Let's just give God praise. <laughs> salvation and grace today, Lord God, that comes through your precious blood, Father. Thank you for the word that came forth this morning, Lord God. We ask that you would give us the faith to receive it and to apply it, Lord. Father, right now we just thank you for Graham, Lord. We thank you for her testimony, Lord God. We thank you for her salvation experience, Father. And we thankful uh, for her youthful spirit and the strength that you've given her, Father. We ask that you continue to renew her mind and body, Lord. There is still a work that she needs to accomplish, Father, and we thank you for that, Lord God. We thank you for the light that she is to us, Lord, and we thank you for the church family here at Lifehouse, Father. We ask that you continue to add to it, Lord God, and strengthen us, Lord God. We continue to press in by faith and believe you, Lord God, to just pour out your spirit. We're so thankful for the many blessings we have, Lord God, and we ask that you be with us this week, Lord, and just continue to strengthen us and to lead us and to guide us in your love and grace. And we give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' name, amen.